Hey everybody, I'm Maddie Matheson, and today on Powerful Truth Angels, we're gonna be. T uh and I'm Two Tone. Hi, I'm Alex Two Tone. This is my partner Maddie Matheson, and we're joined by Jason, who's uh, doing his own show on another network. For another group of people that are apparently, he's doing a show for a bunch of amoeba on planet Zorlox. And uh, who knows what that show's about, but it sure as hell is not the Powerful Truth Angel show. Now he's. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know. Amoeba look like jizz. Amoeba look like jizz. Okay. Can uh, I talk to say can I, amoeba is jibs? That's enough. Can, can we just please, for the love of God, like, subscribe, share? We're powerful truth angels. I'm Maddie Matheson, a complete I'm failure in life. And Alex Tutone is a world class graffiti writer, um, you know, clothing man, highly successful uh, sports apparel, um, you know, artist, direct, the greatest director of all time. There's Martin Scorsese's. There's, there's the, the, the. I, listen, I'd like you to stop this. I don't like this horse shit thing that you do. It's, it's so, it's so condescending, disingenuous, and rude. Because I don't, I don't, you know, like you go, I'm Maddie Madison, don't, I don't do anything. And Alex is an amazing director and he does clothing and he's the best graffiti writer in the world, which is like, you, I'd feel better if you just said, this guy does some cool things and I like his work, but no, you do this whole disingenuous horse shit rollout. Um, and there's you know, no it's disingenuousness rude. It's rude. It's in a word that I say. And if anyone's listening, let us know because I believe that Alex is the greatest director of all time. No, you don't. You, Look at Maddie, what he's wearing. Never, he's literally wearing a never, blazer. Maddie, you've never watched anything I've ever done. Don't say yeah. you have because you have it. No, you have it. What? Name, name, name a movie. I haven't made any movies. Oh. So therefore, I don't exist. <laughs> Um, talk to, there we no, go. Don't Google, uh. Pull up the CV. See, David, you're, we're just already frazzled him. He's got the blazer on. Okay. Wait, hold I want to just I address. I have an IMDb. I didn't even know this. You're a director. You have five credits of direct. You Steve Aoki. See, that's my favorite thing. You got the <laughs> Who puts Danny this in Brown. Here? It's from 2012. Okay. Yeah, get 2012 out of was a big year. Look, you did Iggy. Iggy Azalea. Get out of here. Azalea. Get out of here. You did Jason. Danny Jesus Brown. Christ. Jason, get out of here. <laughs> Go to the Liars video. That's a good one. I like the Liars video. Let me see video. a Liars video. Let me see now the Liars typing, video. Now he started typing get out of here. It was in the it was in the top of the Google search. Jason? No. Oh man. Liars. Here we this, go. You want to just sit and watch this video? Yeah, I want to watch a reel. It's a, it's a very old video. Let's get what out. is Come it? On, Liars is a band? Yeah. Get out of here, Jason. I don't want to watch this video. No, and Please. then after we'll watch, uh, put on uh, just a dash. I love watching myself. Yeah, he does. Okay. So back to back to basics here. Back in black. Um, I'm here to tell you that uh, I, I, I think I have a cold, and which Excuse could mean me? anything at this point. Yeah, I have a cold. So that could Whoa. mean I could be dead pretty soon. By no, the uh, don't say that. Yeah. Why? Who cares? What does it matter? I don't. What are you gonna mourn my? You're gonna mourn me as a great director. You're gonna eulogize me. Oh, I cannot yeah. wait. I can't. I can't wait for your bullshit posts of like what a great guy I was and how important to your family I I was and how how I affected Uncle your two -tone. life. Uncle Two Tone. Yeah, Matt calls you Uncle that. Two Tone. You know that. Yes. Yeah. But then you're gonna you're gonna give it like you're like Jackie. How long do I do two tone posts before I can push this new burger, this tater tot burger I'm making? I'm doing a new Jackie's mustard. Like, it's like give it do six hours. We got to post about my dead friend still. Yeah. How long do we got to post about my dead friend before I can get back on track to posting different mustards? Right. So I have a cold uh, because my girlfriend got sick. So then I got sick, and because um, you guys were French kissing. We uh, we Frenched once. We did French. Um, yeah, so now I have a cold and I'm a little run down and I'm a little cranky and I have a very low tolerance for horse shit, um, at the moment. And, you know, I'm not going to take any shit off of any, either one of you fuckers today. I'll tell you that much. Um, well, let me I'm start with that. this fuck face. Okay. Why are you wearing a blazer and a blue blouse? 
uh, it's not a blouse, it's a shirt, number one. Because I am, a, I am a conservative business person, and this is how I dress from now on. This is my new look. I'm just going to wear suits, and I'm going to wear a suit in the middle of the summer to go to the liquor store, and this is it. This is the new me. I'm going to wear a suit, and I'm just going to have a suit and a finger splint, and uh, that's going to be my look probably until 23, 2023. I like that. You I like think that? that you fully should wear suits, and I have a pair of snakeskin cowboy boots with like the yes. tips on them that I yes. would give you. And I think that you should wear like snakeskin wear cowboy boots. Yeah. And and really well tailored suits. I, never I, I like a like I think you should do that. Never in my life have I been prepared to wear a cowboy boot, but now I am. I, I know, honestly crossed, think I'd wear a cowboy I honestly boot. think I honestly oh. think you would look so great if you grew a giant beard, grew your hair. Like if you didn't trim any hair on your body for a year and w started wearing like suits and cowboy boots, you would look, you would look like a director, you know? I'd look pretty cool. You would, yeah. you would look like you need to look like a guy that's in like Nick Cave's band, you know? Yeah. You need to look problem, like you're an adult now. You're an adult now. The problem now. with that is. Milady. Hey, summer, summertime. Is the problem in LA? Your Summertime beans, in LA, in a your suit beans is, bake. It's not just your beans it, are baking. The whole side of beef is baking. The whole side of beef. Your briskets are being in. Yeah, What's I don't know. Summer, here? summertime in a suit is brutal. I can barely walk around summertime in shorts and a t-shirt without wanting to cry. But imagine being in a whole suit. But it looks great. I mean, I could go. Listen, if I dressed in a suit, I guarantee you, I would open up doors that have never been opened up to me. I could probably arrest anybody. Probably pull people over with a we just just not even pull a badge out. Just say you get on the you ground. Just say, hey, people, get people on the comply. ground. Hey, hey, get on you the fucking ground, pocket. you cocksucker. Yeah, yeah, you you cock. Hey, you motherfucker. You just, just grab your wallet, cock. show your wallet. You're just like, hey, yeah, hey, look at my hey. polka dot blue wallet. No, the look at um, my blue. yeah, you need one of those. You need one of those. We should get yeah, you. You, right. you could be FBI. I am FBI. You know, you, you could be FBI. Alex, did you ever think that you would want to be an FBI or or like um, uh, an army man or military? Did that ever go never, into you? As an American, as an American, no. did you ever have the moment you needed to fight I've for your never, country? I've never wanted to be involved in any sort of law enforcement or military uh, complex yeah. slash industry. I never wanted to be in the army. I never wanted to be in law enforcement. Uh, I think there might be times at which when like my life was so dismal where I was like, maybe I go to the army and, but I was like, never, ever really considered it. I don't, I can't handle being yelled at. Um, and I don't, I don't want to do, I mean, it's fucked. You know, the army, this is a certain type of person joins those, uh, those groups, you know, and, well, people uh, that just want to kill people, people that want to kill people, people that, don't know what they're doing with their lives and they need like something to control them. And then, and then people that uh, believe in, and they have to kill people. They have no idea who they are for freedom. Also poor people in the middle of America who get like, they promise you like a Mustang or, or they pay off, you know, you get to go to college, but all you have to do is sit in a room in Las Vegas and just drone strike some, uh, some weddings in the middle East. And we'll get you a, uh, you know, we'll get you a Hellcat. Yeah. <laughs> We'll give you a, we'll give you a loan a low interest loan. Um, we'll give you a, yeah, give us your life. We'll give you a, maybe a loan. Just just merc just merc these you know Iraqi babies. Push the button. And, uh, just we'll push a, the button over nice, there. A nice shitty American car and it'll fucking do donuts in the fucking easy loop. I mean, listen. Imagine imagine you're a psycho, right? Imagine you're a psycho, right? And you really really want to kill people, but you don't want to go to jail. So you want to join the army and you want to go and kill people. And you you join the army, but you're not you're a psycho, but you're not elite enough to be like a super killer, like a SEAL or a Marine. I don't know much about the armed forces, but only what I've seen in the movies. But you're not elite enough to be like one of these top top tier operators, as they call them. But uh, but you you are you are just you cut the mustard enough to be in the army and you really 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 want to kill somebody but you just end up stationed in fucking Alaska doing like reports and you don't ever yeah. get to even fire your gun. There's got to be a lot of army guys like that. They don't ever get to see any action, you know. No. They don't ever it's get true. to be in the shit. 
No, so, they got to be in the but, shit. The um, you be in so the shit. talking about you, all this weaponry, and let's talk I, about. Okay, I have a I have a segue from this two tone. Run with me on sure. this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take walk it with somewhere. You. Okay, okay, I'm gonna because go, I was gonna I go promise, somewhere. I'm, I, I, I'm gonna promise I'm gonna come, to take this somewhere. And I'm listen. Okay? I'm gonna make an oath. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna swear an oath to you right now, Maddie. I'm gonna follow you on this journey as long as it goes. We can and go. You can stop at any time. No, and then I'm gonna tell. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take your take your path, and, and afterwards then, we're gonna segue back and talk about our favorite war movies of all time. Okay. okay. But after we finish, what you're gonna say? Because I Thank respect you. you. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Two-tone. When you wear a suit, I feel I need to call you Alex, by the way, also. Alexander to you, fuckface. Alexander, you big cock motherfucker. Look at you. Your balls. Your balls are weighing down your suit. Okay. Just All the gun talk. I've yeah. recently, on the farm, we got a lot of groundhogs, nice. right? Um, nice. As a Canadian... I don't have a, a gun license. I don't have uh yeah. yeah, fuck these motherfuckers. And Wait, no, what's no hold on. What's wrong okay. with groundhogs? Tell me what's wrong okay, with them. Okay, groundhogs. See that? They that are thing? cool as fuck. That thing they is are, cool. They are. They are. Hey, they're cool, cool, man. Looking. They're cool. We had one when we moved on to our property a couple years ago. We had one. It lived underneath a little cabin. We got the little cabin that's waiting for you and Ella. It's just waiting yeah. there, a little pot belly stove, little window oh, into the it. woods. Yep. Um, you know, two little bunkies. And um there was one. Then a year later, somehow it made it. There was five. Somehow. Yeah. Now we got How do you like get a count? 10. How do you get a count on them? How do you count you the see them? You see them run around. You see them, you oh. you know who they are. Okay. And we got about ten of these things on our property now, and it's just yeah. it's it's I can see what's happening every winter they hibernate and then they come out every fucking spring. And there's double. And Shit. we can't live look at this thing. And I need nails. to buy an I need to buy an air I've been looking up airsoft rifles yeah. online. Yeah. Um and you know the <laughs> the the very ju- un- unjudgmental unju- Reddit forums of airsoft rifles are saying that I need a a, a point two five point one seven seven something or other to kill because i googled i was like i'm like i can't get a, a gun but i was just like how do i get uh like an airsoft rifle or like a rifle uh pellet gun that can kill groundhogs and they're, now the they're airsoft, available the airsoft can kill a groundhog yeah so so well the pellets you can buy that there's hunting pellets so if you buy no a way. caliber yeah, yeah yeah so i'm gonna buy from like bass pro if they hear this hook me up bass big bass pro and so what, yeah, you get, so you, you gotta get, get steel pellets. Yeah, you can buy like fucking all these things. So you can buy like hunting pellets. What? And from like 40, 50 feet away, I can shoot because I know where they live and they live in all these different. And the thing is, is like they burrow so far, they actually have like incredible um, um, digging uh, apparatuses. Their claws are incredible. They're yeah. designed, they're ground, they're ground hogs. You are know, these what you're gonna hogs. get? Are you gonna get? Go back to those uh, those uh, rounds. Look at that, Jason. And I'm gonna cut their little hornets? hands off, and I'm gonna wear their are paws. <laughs> I'm gonna make a necklace, you know, like in um, yeah. It's one like of the that, What was the movie where he had all the had all the, the ears? ears. Yeah, yeah, one of those Vietnam movies. Wait, are Man. you gonna get these Vicious. rounds to put in there? Well, I'm buying. Yeah, like see, 1.77. So I need the uh, I need the caliber of the 1.77 caliber, and That's I'm gonna buy is. these. I got to get the Hornets, and I'm going to fucking let me double you. tap. Boom, boom. Got to do a double tap. On are, these, you gonna get, these... are you going to get down in the garden in a ghillie suit? Oh, yeah. And blend in, blend in with the cabbage for fucking six hours. Yeah. And just wait, just wait with a it. scope? Zzz. You don't even have to. Honestly, I, I've done some hunting in a gully suit, and, yeah. uh, you know, they're great. They're great. Google that, image Camelot. Maddie gully suit. I, I wore, wear duck hunting. Put in, like, Maddie Madison, like, duck hunting gully suit. I bet something will come up. So do you Let's do see. you set up with the airsoft gun? You set up, you have a scope, you have the whole I, shit? Or I'm going to get a laser no? sight. I'm going in. I'm gonna about to drop 500 A bucks. laser sight. I'm going to get, yeah, what? look, there's me. There's me. Look, big dog. In the, in the, there we go. There we go. Look at the big now, dog. Now, are, are you going to catch, are you going to catch Get rid of that. From, get rid of that screen, okay? 
Jeepers. From the, the woke, there's no difference in that picture and this picture, if you ask me. It's like That's the same exactly thing. it. So, so I'm going to terminate because I called like a wildlife, um, like relocation co- company, and they're like yeah. groundhogs. Let's, let's we don't even. Woke. We don't. Yeah. We don't. We do. We don't. Groundhogs, you're on your own. Skunks, raccoons, um, you know, weasels. I don't fucking know. Groundhogs, they're all just like, nah, fuck that. Have fun. And I, I hit just a skunk. Like, oh, you hit a skunk? I hit, oh, I my hit a skunk on Saturday. It was sad. I, I was driving back from playing poker. It's a big in bump. Glendale. It's a big bump. I hit, and 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 and, and Ella, Ella yells and I it stopped. I stopped over the skunk. Peppy she canceled. yelled. And and then uh, and then I went and I kept going and there was this a uh, that noise and then he sprayed the underside of my car and uh, I felt bad I mean the dude did not deserve to die he's just mm. being a skunk you know but um not it's to tough. segue listen the airsoft gun mm. with the with the with the metal the metal round I'm gonna get a right? laser pointer I'm gonna get a laser sight but can't couldn't you fuck up like yo if you spray someone because I've seen I've seen video of these airsoft guns they're fully automatic and they have like they have tracer rounds in them you can see them in the dark they're like pew, pew. like couldn't you just couldn't you fuck up someone's face with those metal things like take their eyes out of course what do you mean so it's why are people penetrate an animal so why aren't people using them to commit crimes because anyone can get an airsoft gun and it's, and it's silent. Oh, There's no sorry. noise. Hey, everybody, we're pro crime here on Powerful Truth Angels. Alex, if we can start causing some crime <laughs> with some fucking just pellet kidding. guns, Two Tone just <laughs> is wondering why nobody is trying to rob a bank with an airsoft rifle. I, sorry, guys. I mean, we're pro crime here on fucking deadly, PTA, baby. Deadly pellet gun crime spree in the valley. Now we're fucking talking. <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm just where my. Listen, I didn't I'm sure know you could have. load. Don't people always take guns and they take the little orange thing off and then they got, you know, okay, no, that, we don't, what, no. what's happening? Pellet gun See, crime look. spree. Deadly. <laughs> Where it's is it? Florida? Deadly. Oh, boy. There's palm They're trees. homeless that? people. Oh, let's see. That's horrible. I bad. hate people. People are disgusting. We are. Arizona. People are. Yeah, tweakers. People are horrible. Okay. Well, so you're gonna, I, I, got I, 10, wanna... I got 10 babies that I got to shoot. And some mom. You kill the little babies? You're gonna shoot them? They grow up, to, dude. It's over. We How can't are you catch get them. All we, of we've them. done ca- we've done cages. We've tried to flood them out. They're so cute. <laughs> Look at them. We've tried to Yo, flood how- them out. Of dude. You don't do poison. A- they don't take poison. No, you can't. No, I wouldn't. I'd rather just shoot them. You can't because you can't catch them. We've done cages for years trying to catch them. And, and what do they do? They eat, eating, they eat the cabbage. The thing is, is now the they're goose. eating. They're eating our produce. So they're they listen. Ate if, like they, a, if these motherfuckers start chewing into the blue goose, bottom line, our livelihood. Let me tell you, they the blue, listen. They get into the cat into Maddie. Listen. No, they're when you eating start the lettuce. Fucking with Maddie's. When you start fucking with Maddie's money, he does not care if you are a woodchuck, a lesbian, uh, if you're a chef or who you are. He will fucking kill you. Dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kill you all. And, Don't and, fuck and, with and, his and, bottom and, line, dude. Kill them all, like God sort them out. It's and it's just now we're it's um yeah. Unfortunately, Don't fuck with this man's bottom line. Time, Don't fuck with his money. I've, I've been talking about it for like three weeks, and now I gotta pull. I gotta pull the trigger. I got. I gotta God do damn. the work. Literally, and I'm gonna but every listen. weekend. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna try to like snipe uh, some. But some, how does that? Some can you hogs. really think? You really think you can get them all by shooting them? Like, I don't know how groundhogs work. I always assume there's a couple more stashed away that are going to make more. But you think you can just get them? You can just kill them all? Universal Soldier. Good fucking movie. Maddie's. Um, yes, I think I'm going to get them all because I think that I'm going to be focused. And on the weekends. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to be I'm going to be focused. I'm going to be focused. Uh, no, because they all come out. Of the, it's, I'm going to see. I'm going to do. Uh, I've only slaughtered one animal. I slaughtered a lamb once on a farm, and well, um, maybe what's happening is like, listen, you're you're, oh, you're horrible you're, animals. There's no way you could physically do that. That those things are like so they just like they're vicious. They're vicious. They probably sedated that one. Um, yeah, it's hot. You're going to you're going to. Um, I think what's happening here, Maddie. What I'm getting from you is that. Uh, is that you? You know, you you started decreasing in the man-made chemicals and the sugars, right? And you're going back mm. to the earth, and you're starting to eat pure, clean foods. And what's mm. happening is you're you're starting to to devolve from the city person and evolve back into 
the man of the country, a man of of, of nature, a man of the spirit mm. of the flesh. And you're yeah. gonna start to you're starting to see that the really the world really does come down to like kill or be killed. And in these woodchucks, if they eat your cabbage, which takes food out of your son's mouth, they need to fucking die. Not only do you need to kill them, you need to crucify them so the other woodchucks know. Right? Yeah. Like you know, you know that like you keep seeing that thing on the internet where they crucified that rat. They mm, or no. people start. To, <laughs> you ever seen this thing? There's so the, it, it happens. I, I don't know where they do this, but they catch rats and then they they crucify them. Some, where? Oh my goodness! No, not only Seems that, I see them not not crucifying too, but they tie them up. I see them tie rats up and torture them, and so the other oh rats goodness. know because rats are very yeah, smart. I don't want to torture anything. I don't want no no no. I don't want no. You're not. What I want to do? What I want to do? Was, I went dark. Is, Sorry, I went dark. That Listen, went dark. I don't want to. I don't want to torture anything. I just want to. No. I, I I think I'm at the point where I need to literally like they are eating like they ate like literally over 50 feet of lettuce um, the other night, and it's just it, it, it it's like two months of work. And we yeah. can't relocate, and and they chose to live on the property. You're We've not tried leaving. To like, they're not, you're not leaving. Going nowhere. They're spreading out. No. They're getting real comfy. Yeah. They're well, you're not going comfy. anywhere either. And and I'm not. No, I'm just, I'm just I'm renewing. There's. Are you gonna I'm, Are you gonna haul the Are you gonna haul your fresh kill onto onto uh onto the back of one of Matt's Matt's uh, electric vehicles, one of Max like bikes or something, strap it to the roof. He yeah, can drive I'm gonna get around. Mac. I'm gonna get Mac to, you know, maybe he'll see what happens and uh, teach him a little bit about life and a little bit about the circle of life. Now, are you ready for the backlash on the internet for you killing uh, woodchucks? Are you ready for this? Because they're gonna come after you. They're gonna hold your feet to the flames. They're what gonna do you mean? say that this you're. Is, I live in the woods. It, it, well, it, it's they're eating. Hey. They're eating food. They're doing a thing. They can't live on my property. Guess what? Everyone, dude, have have listen. A, some have 12, 12, 12 groundhogs live on your property. See how some you feel. some some twenty three year old sexually amorphous person with dyed green hair and six nose rings is going to air you the fuck out, fresh out of an Ivy League campus, and say, "Listen, you didn't give these woodchucks the, the proper time to live." Okay, uh, not Nicki Minaj. Um, you're gonna get. You're gonna be. You're gonna get fucked. They're gonna get you for this. This is it. You thought that the other thing was. I don't think I'm gonna post. Is- I don't think I'm gonna post. I'll talk about it here on the podcast. Oh, I don't think you're I'm gonna, gonna be post. posting like first kill. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I'm gonna be posting to post. first kill. I would love like I love with all your positive shit, and then you also you just have like a a skinned woodchuck, and you're like, also check this out, guys! I murdered this fucking woodchuck or groundhog, I whatever the fuck it. it is. Yeah, I'm about to go. Um, you know, so let's. I'm about to become segue. a sniper. I'm, about I'm to excited a about your. I'm excited about your airsoft gun. I would love to shoot an airsoft gun. It looks so fun. I would like mm-hmm. to just shoot tin cans off a fence. That sounds fun to me. You know, it's like really I don't. Fun. Really I like fun. shooting. I like shooting. I like shooting skeet. I used to, I've, I've shot skeet. I don't like shooting ranges because I don't like the indoor shooting. It's too no. loud and it's, and it's too too much. Uh, too skeet many fucking personalities. Skeet. We fun. could do this in my backyard. Do you have a skeet? Come to my backyard. You have a skeet puller. Will you order one for me? We have Jackie set it up. I'll Jackie to just text her. Text, text her. Jackie thread. set it up. Skeet. I That's need us a skeet right there. Pulling machine. Boo. Yeah. Boo. It's fun. It's really fun to do. We it's can't really, shoot it's on actually, my property though. Why not? Because I'm south, I'm still in resident. I'm still sort of. If I was north of the highway, I'm south of yeah. the highway, so I'm still actually. Even though there's no one around me, I'm still yeah. like um, zoned resident. But in your in your small town, does an officer Greg pulls up and you just start to talking about barbecue and he leaves you alone? Right? No, I like, cut it not. out and then I'll be like, "Yeah, Maddie, I'll get you. Hey, next Maddie, time you here. get on the meat and three, give Maddie. me some brisket." Hey. I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry that I have to come here, bud. But uh, you can't I shoot got out you. here. Your neighbors called. You're popping shells. Um, okay, so let's segue and talk about the best war movies of all time. Let's make a list. Well, I think okay. number one's obviously Apocalypse. Is Apocalypse Now number one? I just watched it recently. I don't know that Apocalypse Now is number one. I think Full Metal Jacket might be. Full Metal Jacket's might, number one. Full Metal Jacket might be number one. Let's Full Metal go, Jackets let's, number one. Black Hawk Down is in, is pretty high up there, in my opinion. Black Hawk Down is, in your opinion, up there. It's pretty up there. Black Hawk Down. I don't know where it ranks yet. Let's say let's say tentatively Full Metal Jackets number one. Uh, Platoon Thin Blue Line has got to be up there. You Which know one's that? the Malik. Is that with Jamie Terrence? Lee Curtis? Oh, Thin, Thin Red Line. 
Yeah. Yeah. Then the red line. What's that? I, Terrence is Malik. Is that Terrence Malik? Malik? Yeah. Where it's like it's just like a half hour of a guy swimming with like some Cambodian kids. Yeah, it's just grass mostly. It's, it's just, just like grass. The raw it's emotion. mostly grass. Just it's like, like grass. guy touching like, grass. Like, yeah. I, yeah. When I think of thin red line, I just just picture everyone just like laying low in some grass. Yeah. Um. Not a lot happens. It's oh, just that guys. guy. He's I mean, great in Romeo and Juliet. And um, was he in? Uh, no, he wasn't in. Was he in White Boys? Remember yes. White Boys. Yeah, white boys is great. So keep keep focus here, Maddie. We're on the we're doing war, okay? So let's make um, our list. We have we have. Is there a way for you to visually uh, write a list out here on on with a? Yeah, with he a, just puts on notes. Put put notes up and let's make our list. So and let's discuss. So we have thin red line. We have full metal jacket. We have uh, platoon apocalypse now. And you know we have to really think about what what's what what rates for us as a war movie. Is it the idea of the horror of war, or is it the reality of the action of war? Because Black Hawk Down is is, uh, you know, I think Apocalypse Now is much more of like an artful exploration of of the horrors of men, right? Mm. And uh, and the war is great in it too. But then, but we're like um, the pianist. Yeah, is that a war movie? I mean, I, I it's guess certainly a war movie. <laughs> Certainly a war. Well, movie. no, it's 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 more of a it's more of a movie about um, about the Holocaust and the war, right? Right. And the you so, just end the war. yeah. Look at his notes. What is this edit pad? I don't know. He psycho. just googled. He didn't. Are you on a PC, Jason? Are you on a fucking PC? I bet he runs a PC. Do you have a PC, dude? Oh my <sighs> god! Oh fuck! Oh, it's just oh, what is happening to us? Is a Oh it's my nice God, being able dude. to run anything. He has a PC. What do you have? Like Alienware? What do you what are you? <laughs> You're a PC guy? Oh, did you build it yourself, you fucking animal? Are you with me on this movie thing? J Maddie, I can't tell if you're if you're on my team here. I walked with you with your airsoft thing. I kept it going. Can you can we talk? Can we get into this? I need some I, gusto. You are not letting me talk. I need some gusto. You need some gusto? What are my favorite movies? I, I like the well, the uh, war movies. I honestly think that um what are they? I'm trying to think. I think full, well, no, I'll, I think I'll walk you I, through I, it. I, I like Full Metal Jacket. I, I, platoon, platoon. Like full full Apocalypse Metal Jacket. Now. Apocalypse Now, Platoon. Um, Hamburger Hill, you ever seen that one? I don't even remember Hamburger if it's Hill. Good. What about Fury? I liked Fury, Fury a lot. I don't like Fury. I don't like Fury. You don't like Fury? Oh. Fury's but I good. Like, I like Saving Private Ryan. I think that's pretty good. See, I, I don't like Saving Private Ryan. Fury I didn't like so much. Have you seen the movie? I liked Fury. Um, oh, what is that? What is that? What about Glorious Bastards? Does that count? No. Uh, yeah, but that's more of a genre thing. It's no. not really a, really yeah. a war movie. Uh, right. There's that Russian movie. There's a Russian World War II the movie. The Hunt that takes for Red in, October. I never watched that, but there's a Russian World War II movie that takes place in a village, and it's it's Russian. Look at look this one up. It's um, it's it's pretty good. It's pretty fucked up to be honest. Um, it takes World place in a village, in a small village. Uh, Mass uh, yeah, that was it. Yeah, come, come and, and see. see. Yeah, that one's fucked. Come and see is fucked up. Um, what else? <laughs> that um, that's a good. Yeah. Uh, what that's else? That's a good one. War, You've war, seen war this man. movie. You've seen that film. Actually, yeah. or you're yeah. just saying that's a cool like you've yeah. No, it's a good it's a it's a it's fucked a up good. movie. It's good to watch. Okay. Um mm -hmm. It's really good actually. Uh Red Dawn. No, Red, Red Dawn, Dawn is, is not really a war movie. It's a, it's another <laughs> fucking It's like no. the Goonies. Um, um World War, let's think. Let's go by war first. Do you want to start backward? Do you want to start with the the, the Middle East stuff? Right? We, we, um no, Red Dawn. Three Kings, here. but that guy isn't that. That Three director's Kings is getting, good. Three Kings is good. That director is supposed to be the most vile director. He's like a highly like physically abusive. Verbally the guy that to did his, the like, fighter. Is that the is that the same guy? Is it everyone's saying that this guy's cooked right now? David O. Russell. David O. Russell. Yeah. He's saying, he's everyone's saying this guy's a psychopath. Yeah, but you like have George, to be a psychopath to make movies that good, you know? To be a psychopath, so like the insanity, you have to to be. It's a fine line. This guy, I guess, he was like, he would like grab people. He would like, he'd like throw around like his ads and stuff. George Clooney wrote like an open letter about how the the I believe Three Kings was the the most uh, the most horrific uh, movie set he ever worked on. 
Really? Which is wild to see because that movie's so like funny and like you know Spike Jones kills it in that. Yeah. Um, um, spans many years in movies. Yeah. I I used to love that movie and I still do because I I I, I don't know man whatever I just yeah I um sorry I tell the dentist I have to reschedule. Um, Three Kings oh. is a great movie. Can you can we separate the artist from the art? Uh, you know. <laughs> Because like I don't sure. know, man. I, I what did he do? He no, he, he well, shook an AD. War movies. He Three shook Kings an AD. It? He yelled at an AD. You can't yell anymore. Aren't I, you I supposed don't... to yell as a director? You're supposed to have a megaphone and you're supposed to grab a PA and, and yell at them so much that they shit their pants. Otherwise, you're not That's, doing your job, it's right? True. You just need to be. You need to be it's terrorizing so everybody. You got to be a terrorizer. At all times. Terror. Yeah, like like a, your your like job a, is to be a terrorist. There it is. That's the that, job. Just screaming <laughs> and yelling and making people shake with fear. Punching if you out can't, interns. Matt, you have to make people grip. emote. I don't know what it's like to make people emote. I just shoot fucking kids looking cute, right? I shoot a bunch That's of kittens it. in French the field kissing. and my job's done. Kissing. Kids watching, French. I watching just shoot the people kissing. kissing. Director, you're like, kiss harder. Kiss, kiss harder. more. No, like I think the, the, I think the board the and raise kissing scenes, they're like the best kissing scenes ever been made. We did have a pretty good kissing scene in one of our films, actually, and I don't know if you've even ever seen it. It was a really I've good seen fresh all, kiss. You know I've seen all your work. Don't act like I've no, not you seen, seen anything. Work. Oh, give me a break. I've seen all of the Iggy Azalea uh, Yeah. Why would videos. you watch anything? We've gone from okay, war so back to kissing. To, back to the, this is incredible. Back to the, See, that's a, this is that, dead <laughs> air. Maddie, this is dead air. Let's go back to the war movie thing, okay? You know, I tried to... I did you a favor, and I followed you on your stupid journey about your fucking woodchucks and your airsoft guns. You can't do me the goddamn decency of just sticking with the theme for three seconds. I'm trying to think of movies and to... Talk about it. You're just yelling at us. You got a blazer on and you're just screaming at everybody about goddamn fucking war movies. I'm just trying to think of the Middle East movies and you're just yelling. You're like, you're not even doing it. You're not even doing it. You're not even caring about what I'm talking about. Because I'm not you're not even caring. And I'm trying to think of a movie. I know when you're invested. I'm very invested. I'm the most invested I've ever been. Number five, starting the show back on our best war movie list. We have Daddy Daycare coming in as the war of uh, Arnold Daddy. Schwarzenegger versus a bunch of toddlers. Is that that movie? Kindergarten, Kindergarten Cop. Kindergarten Cop. One of my favorite war Cop's movies of all time. the greatest war movie of all time. The greatest Kindergarten war Kindergarten Cop. Always- Boys have a penis. Girls have a vagina. Guess what? Not anymore. Girls have anything and boys you. have everything. The um, look at okay. look how young look at Schwartz is. Look at Schwartz. <laughs> look at great. the big last action Look hero? at the Schwartz dog. Look how young he is right here. I know he's probably thirty-five. He's thirty-five at least. He's young. Fuck. He's spry still. He's spry great. That's his, a great movie. That's a great movie. And you That's know you got to wonder movie. where does this fit into the pantheon of the of the elite Hollywood pedophile ring? Is this just like a? Is this like? <sighs> Is this like what is this like for a pedophile? Is this like what it's being? Is this like being backstage with Motley Crue, right, surrounded mm. by groupies? It's just like is this is this part the of the heyday their of Schwarzenegger? The heyday of like Schwarzenegger. Is he part LA? of it? <laughs> right. Wow. You know, think about it. Do the math because QAnon. If they had a, <laughs> if they Do saw the this math. right now, they'd know what they'd know. Look at the clock. The clock says nine thirty. You know what that means? That's that thirty means dead bodies. It's that's kid nine, fucking time. That's 39 year olds being delivered to your house to get murdered. That's what that clock means. If you see behind them, there's a heart shape. There's a heart shape like a pizza. And Comet Pizza. That means what does that mean? What does that imply? To the Q-Anon. heart made of pizza is Comet Pizza and children's hearts. Because there's mm. pizza. They use marinara made of children's hearts in the pizza sauce. Okay. American Do your fucking sniper. homework. American, American sniper. sniper. Here's that's the best a good thing. movie. Let me, let me tell you about America real quick. Okay, just a segue. Here's here's what an amazing country America is. We have our country is a is a wild you know military industrial complex. We all pretend it's not. We all pretend that we're not just like disrupting the entire planet so we can all have uh, you know iPhones and gigapets and uh, gap gap for kids, right? So what we do is we go into we go and we start a war with someone and then we send super elite guys who've been each one of these guys has had about like 1.5 million dollars in training and gear invested in each one of these like elite sniper dudes or navy seal guys and we take them and we drop them in like a village where dudes have like goats and some AKs and barely any training and what we do is and they fight these guys 
and they beat the shit out of them. And then we make a movie about how we are the underdogs. And they make a movie about how, like, you know, our guys, our, our, our savage, loyal uh, American soldiers are going there and protecting us. When the reality is, like, we're the bad guys. <laughs> Like we're 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 the guys running around just like destroyed everything and sending in elite cyber fucking warfare super soldiers to blow up uh, dudes who are just basically like farming dirt. We we're are the, uh, the empire. We're the empire, and people we don't know it though because we're in it, and we we want to go to uh, we want Postmates. So in order for us <laughs> to have Postmates, we have to destabilize. Everything else. The entire yeah. world. We have to destabilize yeah. the entire world just to have yeah. postmates. Yeah. What is that? What is and, that? What is that all about? You know, Alex? Uh, why why are we so why is everyone trying to destabilize? why do we have to destable? You know? I think that I think that my theory on it is this. I think that humans Because then people are, are posting because people are posting about the nonsense and then they're making obviously the the master plan. Well, for all of us to live in this, like, you know, we all, everyone's complaining about how much money we don't have. And we're looking at other people. And some of us have standing reservations at Modest Yahoo and, uh, you know, and, and are living a life of just flourishment. And in order for that to happen, what we don't want to realize is that other people have to suffer and die. And unfortunately, it's true. And, uh, you know, the world is a, is a scale and we're, we're tipping it over with just, uh, with our excess. And, you know, I think that, I think that humans are, um, I think that we're like any other animal super predators and I think that we have to kill each other and I think we have to kill each other in the way that like bears kill each other and deer have to be eliminated by other things like I think humans have to kill each other in a mass in a mass scale because it's in our nature like the wars are never going to stop we're you know genocide all these things like it's it's human nature to just to just subjugate and terrorize each other and meanwhile we're we're over here in California fighting over like you know avocado toast avocado toast and like can i uh you know is is can i get into this club can i get into the club can, can i get on a guest club? list we're arguing over like mm. something someone said 16 years ago was it racist and meanwhile people are literally eating leather because they're so hungry <laughs> and uh and we're like our, my avocado toast doesn't have enough pepper flakes and have you been to the new spot? Because I haven't been yet. Because you know, have you and been? And have I'm, you had the new avocado toast? No, but El Russo is moving down the street from here, and I'm I'm kind of okay. I'm half Excuse excited. Me? Okay, I'm wait. Half sad. Everything we've talked about is bullshit. Right now, <laughs> you're telling me that El Russo is moving to Los Feliz. El Russo is moving to Silver Lake, uh, right what? in the middle of fucking sunset, right by yeah, in a really good spot. Right, like right he's putting the truck, or is he's opening up a I spot? Think I I saw a thing on his Instagram, and what? he he posted the address, and it looks like he's got a, it looks like he's got a spot. Maybe it's a truck. It doesn't matter. Here's oh the my thing: God. Silver Lake is not ready for El Russo because what he does is is mm. going to destroy everything. And these fucking yuppies, like I was at the Marisco's place across from where he's going the other day, and. Uh, and he's going to move across the street from there. And he's just going to, in my opinion, I don't know. Maybe people won't get it, but he's going to fuck everyone. He, uh, No one else Bro, is going to have anything else to his eat. Carne because, asada. That's, dude, that's, his carne asada. Dude, his tacos. Those how whole, do you the feel rib, about those? The rib tacos? Fuck. Uh, I think about it. I follow him on Instagram, and I look at his food, and I'm like, I also look at it, and it scares me, because if I eat it, I just, I, I'll go, I just, it's like a, it's it's just mm. a, it's just a Vicodin. I just instantly start descending. <laughs> And uh, I love, I love his carne asada so much. Uh, I love his flour fuck. tortillas are his incredible, incredible, handmade to order. Oh. It's it, it's just there's something, there's something about what George and his his family and his whole crew do, and it's so special. I honestly like it's just like his carne asada, the, but the tortillas. Look at the fucking tort. Look at George right there. Oh. God, oh, it's so good. It's God so bless good. George. God bless I'm George. I'm gonna pull it up, dude. His yeah. fucking, I like. Uh, uh, well, he's look moving at in. That guy, dude. He's moving in. I'm coming back in August. I'm coming in August. So we're gonna do one where we we just get him to move in with us. Grand we opening. We just have June. him move in to. We'll move your office. We'll get your office out of your apartment. And, Grand opening oh, June fifteenth. Let me see. Right down June the street. June 15th. Holy fuck. Crazy town. 
Yo, big shout out. Big shout out to El Russo. It's we so love, good. we love El oh. Russo. And the we thing is, the thing why, why it scares me is that I've put myself on a diet because. Because I I I've now inspired you. Yeah, Maddie, you inspired me. Um, no, I'm getting a delivery thing. I got a, I got a thing where they deliver. It's torture. They just send you little meals. So, oh my God. and and the, I started today. And so, I, oh. you know, in my sick mind, my sick alcoholic, disgusting mind, I said, well, now I have a week to just eat whatever the fuck I want because I'm about to go on a diet. You're going to go full and pig zone. You're going full did. piggy I piggy. It. I went I went no. full piggy last week. Yeah. What'd went, you do? Well, it was it, listen, it was my birthday week. I, I had saw a birthday. you broken, by the way. I'm like three weeks deep. That's this I'm is week proud of four. You. This is week I'm four of, of genuinely not you eating. Had one cheat I haven't meal. I, bro. You had, I had, you had pizza. You had pizza. I I had pizza. I had two slices or three slices, whatever, but like minimal. I literally have salad every single lunch. With Amazing. like some type of fish, the other like uh, and um, I still have not had. I haven't had a fucking can of pop. And, oh, and like, it's so like, good! Like I used to be like a you know one can of pop a day kind of guy, like just being like ah oh, it doesn't do anything. Like you know I'll have a Coca Cola, you know. Yeah. And I was thinking like that was moderation, thinking yeah, that two. like one can of Coca Cola was enough, and yeah. and and thinking that like. Dude, I haven't had a crunchy bar in almost four weeks. You know what's crazy about I soda is that they, my life. they've sold us this idea that soda is a drink. Like yeah. that soda is like a normal drink that you should just have like cruising down the street. Like soda is like a crazy luxury thing that you should have like once a month. Like soda's fucked. It's just like jam with sugar. It's 200 Dude. calories and it's full of fucking chemicals. And they're Even like, like Dude, the have zero it. shit drinks, drinks like five Pepsis a day. Like Pepsi Fuck. Zeros, and oh, she's not. She's too. like skinny, yeah. but it's. I'm just like, that's what her. Like I shouldn't even say this on camera. I feel it's so like, boil, like I'm it's just boiling. like it's so wild to say. Like just be like, <laughs> drinks a lot of pop. Like pop drinkers are wild, right? Like it's just like to me. I'm like that's like I'd rather be like, yo, you smoke like three packs of smokes a day. I'd be like, yeah, I'm smoking. You know, I get that. But like drinking well, like a you, lot of pop. Bro. Yeah. Once you get off, like we, we're all sold these ideas that we have to have drinks and they have to be like, it has to be a drink. Like we're well, just supposed to drink water. Like everything else is extra. You're just supposed to drink fucking water, man. Like we don't need, we don't get anything out of all this shit. Like all this dye and fucking sugar and all this crap. I mean, three, I know I'm not four, saying three of these a day, three of these a day. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. And I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to extend you kudos for having the pizza and not melting down and leaving your diet. The trick is the biggest thing about dieting you're ever going to fucking the biggest thing is just getting back on track. That's it. Once let me you tell you up, something, you get though. Back on track. Let me tell yeah. you. Let me wrap myself out. I yeah. did eat three quarters of a chili dog at meat and three. Sorry. Uh, that was that was my big well, thing. I did. I ate a were chili you taste dog. Testing? Were you taste testing? It was the first one. It was the first one. And it's new on the menu and I had to eat it. And I you ate a, it. A, a, I had to eat it, and it was fucking. We make the we make the chili out of like yeah. uh, the day old brisket. So we, we like that's the meat chucks. out of woodchucks, and and we we we, we make all the, Wait, the chili you make that the goes chili on. out of you make the chili out of old brisket. Oh yeah. So then we just like we just like chop it all up, and we make our the chili, and we make that into sludge, that's nice. and that's we just nice. put that on a Nathan's all beef dog on a Martin's yeah. roll, and then and then we do. Uh, onions, pickled jalapenos, chopped, yeah. um, uh, m yellow mustard, and then just a pile of shredded cheddar cheese. Ugh. I yeah, mean, listen, you got to give it. It is your, incredible. Should, if you can allow yourself one bad thing a week, then you're fine. Your body will be fine. Just That's allow what I'm it doing. To happen once, once, one thing. If you once just, a week, but it's not even a yeah. full cheat day. Yeah, just I do one, like yeah, a just cheat one thing. meal. One That's thing. perfect. One thing. But that's what I'm doing now. Even oh, today, beautiful. dude, today I, I ate the pokey. I just ate like, but all sauce on the side and I just had tuna on brown rice just a little bit and I only, I skimmed the pokey up with just the rice enough to have a little bit of rice and I didn't even eat the whole, I, I threw away like half the rice. You're in it. You're and in I the had opposite. Just you're in, listen, you're in the bizarro world of overeating where you start to look at how can I, how can I under eat? How can I yeah, not I'm eat under all this I'm brown rice? I'm naturally shrinking my stomach. Imagine, I, I, imagine. I the still drink two coffees, two coffees a day. It's fine. Imagine the insanity of going. 
I don't want to eat all this brown rice. When when four weeks ago you were like, I need to eat this entire loaf of sourdough bread to my face. Or like I need Dude, pasta with my pizza. I could pizza. eat a now whole like, pizza and like a sub and like chicken wings and like a, a liter of pop. Right. Like no problem. And that was lunch. Not really though. You can't eat a whole pizza. I could eat a half a pizza and half a six inch sub, like a six inch sub. Yeah, because you got to get all the flavors, baby. You yeah, know. but that's the thing the, is like, yeah, yeah, I know we talked about yeah. it before, but it's just amazing like how like I was constantly just being like, no, like you're like, every time you eat, it's like the Olympics. And I was yeah. just like, what are you talking it's about? And then you realize yeah, yeah. you're like, now that I'm eating, literally, I, I feel like normal. What are you normal. talking about? Like, yeah, I even yeah. think about, dude, recently I've been like thinking about, I used to make, like anytime I'd go out to eat, like I'd be in New York, I'd go with friends and they're like, what are we doing? I'm like, we're going to go to a restaurant. And they're like, I don't want to go. You know, yeah. and and I, I I get it now. Where I'm like, I would bring <laughs> people that normally eat, like, well, just people that eat normal, and then I'd be like, no, we're yeah. gonna go to a restaurant. And we're gonna get get a three tier uh, seafood tower. We're each gonna yeah. get like a you know a steak frite, and we're gonna get some escargot, and then we're gonna have all of the desserts, and we're gonna drink like yeah. three espressos. And I think it's just like, and then later we're gonna go for dim sum at midnight, and we're gonna eat for yeah. two hours straight. Yeah. I mean, I remember going to APL with you, and I don't know why this of all the time stuck in my head, but I remember that the entire table, there was no room for even like plates. Everything on the, the menu was on the you table. You fill the table. And I remember looking at it, and I was like, I was dieting pretty seriously, and like, okay, this is my cheat day, I guess. And I remember mm. eating it all and just being like flabbergasted. You know, mm. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's the mm. need. I look at people who don't have the need to eat a lot and I'm shocked. I'm like, how do you, because I know people who are equally as sick as I am in other ways. Like there are mm. just other guys I know that are just fucked up in the head. Disgusting and I go, but why addicts. don't, disgusting drug addict. And I'm like, you know, but recovering, great people, but like they're sick. Always, and I look always at them, recovering. Keep coming back. Always recovering. Keep coming back. And, uh, and, and I look at them and I go, why do you not have the food thing too? Because you have the, we all have the sex and the fucking drugs and all that. Why not the food? You get to, you skip the food thing. So you get to be, because imagine you get to have all that horrible disease, but you're also kind of shredded, which is kind of tight. Ugh. Instead of well, being a fat piece of shit. No. Um, we need I mean, to get gotta, Bronson on. We're going to get action on because he get, is get now. On. He's killing okay. it. Listen, that. Okay. He's, he's a doing fucking the, anomaly. The, the Bulgarian. Sp- that thing is he cool. He is in. He's he addicted in now. He is. He's like. Um, well, he's, listen, he's no, a rare. He's, he's, he is truly. I don't give a fuck. He did it. He did the damn thing. Hats off it. to you. Fucking action. Bronson. We're, we're, Bronson we're gonna, Merkit. He's a rare breed because you know what? This motherfucker does dabs. I watch his. I'm on his. Dude, on his he shit. gets high. He's, he rips a fucking dab in the morning and then goes. I'm gonna go work out. That's such a weird, like that's such a rare breed of stoner because when I smoke weed, I nothing happens after that. He he smokes weed and goes and lifts fucking 300 pounds. Like that is crazy. But my little brother. So my little brother and his friends who are yeah. were all ripped. Like they would all just get. They would get so stoned and then they would work out for two hours. That's the last thing I want to and do. And then high. they would just get, they would all get fucking high. They would get fucking high. Do you, and this like, is the, when the, I, the, it, oh. this is the thing that I think is like amazing. So Bronson, over the last year, right? He's like lost his weight. Yeah. Then now he's like tuning. So he like yes. lost, now he's going like even yep. harder. Yep. Yeah. Tripling yeah. down. And it's yeah. just, uh, you know, there's a uh, fuck it. You know, it's he, crazy he, he seeing him. Thing. He's he's so small, right? Like he's obviously strong, but he's so not stout. He's I mean, he's still stout, but he's small. He's, very he's stout. a smaller person. He's sh- yeah, what's he's, going on? Look there? how small he is. I oh, mean, he got listen, shot. he got shot, but uh, and he just kept working out through it. Look at that picture of him bottom left. He's he's very big right there. Um, click that mm-hmm. one. Listen, Maddie. Here's the thing. I think personally, I think you have the same framework. I think structurally, you're very strong underneath it all. I think we need to get you to a bulky, like a bulky boy. Like let's let's get you built like a fucking little cannonball. And I think mm-hmm. that you you know I think there's a whole world of shit out there for you. I mean, imagine you pulling up to to Ruka Aloha North Shore and just charging, just socking dudes, dropping in on fools, wrestling, just being a my a beach. beach, you know, my beach, yeah, my bro. beach, yeah, my beach, bro. Look up, look up some some big. Uh, let's look at what Maddie's ideal physique will be. It'll be like um, he'd be no, kind of like I wanna, I wanna a chubby like, like bear, a, like a chubby bear. Chubby bear boy. No, 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 man. Chubby man. Oh, no, oh. that's not it. That's no, that's too like chubby. Now. 
Yeah, that's too chubby. Just that's, go to no, bear, just type, ultimate no, bear this body. Is, type in like 80s wrestler. Put in 80s like good. wrestler. This guy's good. This guy's good on the 80s, right. No. Some of these guys look. are good. No, no, no. Go down. Let me look at this. Let me look at this. See? Like something like Hacksaw. Look yeah, at Hacksaw. Hacksaw would be nice. Put in Hacksaw. I like Hacksaw for you. Yeah. Yeah. Hacksaw Jim Duggs. Like, yeah. see that? That's yep. fucking prime time. That's <laughs> How do you prime get time. That sh- <laughs> How do you get a shape like that? It's so amazing. He's Dude. just like a fucking seal. Yeah, that's prime time right there. Don't go on the hand. Stud. What are you doing? I know. It's incredible. Jason, He's show the body. Sweeping. I know. He's we're so talking stoned. about the body. It's incredible, Show the body, Jason. Jason. Zoom out. Zoom oh, out. And we're going through it. Zoom we're going out. through it. And we're going no, through no, no, no. it. Take Zoom our time. Out. Zoom. Okay, there it is. Look at that body. It's He's a great like a body. fucking like a like a porpoise. And we're like the same. We're tanned. We're tanned like no look definition. At my underbreast. Look at my underbreast tan. I think I think it's in your warehouse. I I want I want to see you and and uh, I want to see you in action. We got to do a fitness pod with action. The three of us go to yeah, the gym. Yeah, we'll call him. I'll to, text him. He'll do it. You know. We'll do it. We got to do it in person. I want to throw around those Bulgarian things. He's he's a beast. That dude's lifting heavy weight. Best war movie of all time is Hacksaw Ridge. <laughs> Hacksaw Ridge. There we go. Hacksaw Ridge is the best yeah. one. Once again, we failed at everything. So Hacksaw Ridge is easily the greatest. Um, wait, is that a Mel movie? You can't talk about Mel. Mel's out. Um, the, yeah, but you know, Mel's not out. Mel's still making films. Like Mel's just, back in. Goes, it goes to show somebody was talking about this. Like they're talking about this idea of like the Hollywood elite, uh, mm. you know, gay mafia that runs Hollywood and like the super liberal Hollywood. But like Mel Gibson's still crushing. Right. They're, I don't think it is. Ex- I don't think that that's totally real. Like Mel Gibson is like or like the, the Jewish He's wearing a cowboy hat co- directing. Look at him. Yeah. Like he they, they didn't stop him from doing anything he wants. You can't to do. stop that machine. Him. You don't stop no. that machine. You don't stop. And Mel. he. He did some wild shit, didn't Mel? Wild Mel said stuff, some crazy anti-Semitic shit. Did he hit somebody? Did he hit a woman? What did Mel no, do? No, I think he. I think he said the thing that he's known for. I think was, uh, yeah, he says bad stuff. I can't even say the things he says. Yeah, he's a horrible person who says things like that. Like it's just like a psychopath, actual psychopath. So fifth best war movie of all time. Mm, not Hacksaw Ridge. Hacksaw. Not Hacksaw Ridge. Do you think so? I never saw Hacksaw Ridge. Okay. I would love it. I would love another good war movie to watch. I love a good war movie. What am I missing? What's a new war movie? Uh, Dunkirk. Uh, Dunkirk is what I was talking about. 1917 is a good one. one. Is it? That movie's so. That movie's so hectic. Dunkirk is like just stressful. Is 1917 good? Did you watch that? 1917 is good. Yeah, I did watch that. I saw There's it in no the way theater. You watched that. You saw it in the theater. 19. 19- yeah. Of course you did. What the fuck does that mean? Of course you did. I haven't what seen it. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Time it's is like the all, enemy. It's like, Look at him. It's ah! set up. It's set up as like one long take. It's like oh, probably really? like three or four takes. Yeah, it's crazy. It's really good. It's insane. I think it's. Uh, is it in your? Who did this one? The 1917 is three I shots. Imagine. I mean. Oh really? I don't know. Is it the guy who did exactly. Arrival in Gravity? Or what do you mean? No, 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 that's that's. I never saw Gravity. Gravity is in your rot too, I think. Gravity, I feel, would stress me out. Sam Mendes did nineteen. Okay, well, I was way the fuck off. Um, Yeah, I don't know who does anything. Maddie has to pee. Who did Gravity? (laughs) Gravity stresses me out. That movie. You rot too, right? Corone. Oh, I had it all the fucked up. All the way fucked up. I don't know. Alfonso. Uh, well, well, this I'm has been really nice. And, uh, you know, this has just been another great episode about film, health, Two Tones Blazer. Uh, he's upset with me. And, uh, you know. I'm not upset with you. Why would I I'm be upset, upset with you? I don't know. Why, what re- for what reason would I ever be upset with you? Why would you be you, upset with me? Why would I be upset with you? I would never be upset with you. You made me I, upset. I, You've made me I've upset. Never, but I would never, never be upset a, with you. I've never been upset, actually, to be honest. You've never been upset with me. I know you no. haven't. I know that because we're friends. We respect each other at all times. You're a perfect That's person. That's why. 
I'm I know perfect. I'm everything perfect. You, You're perfect. Everything you do is amazing. Everything you do is healthy. I'm doing this is what I'm doing to you and what you do to me. Everything you do is amazing. All your shows have such high cinematic value. Your food is so delicious. You're like one of the best chefs in the world. You're a five star chef. You're an amazing person. Everything you do is so healthy. You're so brilliant. You're such a genius. You're so well spoken. Yeah, 